Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Seth here with a video here today not showing my face quite yet because I don't want to showcase anything of my apartment until my apartment video comes out. So with that being said, I'm starting off a nice little new series, little fun little series. I'm um, just like random fun text effects to try out and all that good stuff and not really give it like a 2021 title or whatever title. Just going to make it episode one or part one and I'll just give you guys some fun text effects in the future. So with that being said, if you guys do enjoy today's video, you guys want to of course end up subscribing and following through and also looking up some other awesome tours that I have as well. You guys do that but with that being said i'm gonna leave you guys to it and enjoy the text effects and uh that's all i got love you guys see you guys next week all right guys so the first text effect is a really fun stack effect that can double as a pattern texture as well simply use a vertically tall font for the best look possible i'm using a google font known as drama gothic m you want to go ahead and type out your word you want to use and rasterize your text layer once you guys are done with the new rasterize text layer you can now use the rectangle marquee tool which is a shortcut m on your keyboard for the record and simply hover and select each letter at a time and right click and layer via cut. You want to make sure you do this to every single letter, making sure you select back on the rasterize text layer every time you attempt to cut out new letters. Once you guys have all of your letters cut out into single layers, take one layer and move it up. Skip the next one, then move the following letter up to match the same height as the other ones. Keep in mind that the font that you might have or the letters that you choose to move up will look a little bit different and abstract if you guys cut off in a really weird spot just for the record. However, once you guys are done with that, you want to go back to each of the letters that is higher than the rest and select each one and duplicate it. So basically, select your first letter that is above all the other ones, hold Alt on your keyboard, and drag it down to make a duplicate. Keep in mind as well that each duplicate should have some space in between the letters right above it. Once you guys are all done with that, you can now select the marquee tool and click and drag from left to right, making sure the bottom of the marquee tool hits the top of the first letters. Then you can go through each of the upper letters and delete them one by one. Basically leaving you guys with the letters that are above everything else cut out. Now the same thing with the bottom of course, making sure you're lining up your marquee tool at the bottom of the letters that you didn't move and delete those two. And just like that guys, you have a pretty awesome almost glyph like effect that you can use on its own or duplicate it or make a pattern for a super dope texture. Something that I feel like a lot of you guys can honestly appreciate. Up next is the blur text effect. Combine this with the right fonts and the right setting, you'll honestly get an exact style that you didn't know you need until you actually apply it. Simply have your text ready to go and if it's stacked like mine and not a single line of text, select both of the layers while holding control to highlight both of them, then right click and make a smart object. Once that is actually done, now you can hop into filter, blur gallery, and choose iris blur. Here you can move the blur to any spot to blur a certain area. And once you've done that, you can also hold alt on your keyboard and select one of the four blur anchors and move them separately to control blur in certain spots. It's really effective to use to spice up a regular 2D text while also having to keep it really minimal. And because it is a smart object, if you want to blur again, you can do so with the separate settings each time. It's honestly a really awesome effect to try with text and you might see it from me in the future, who knows? Now, next up is a classic, Lakeify. You guys want to take your word of choice and hold Alt on your keyboard while selecting the text layer, dragging it to make a duplicate. Or you guys can use Control J to make a duplicate and move it with your move tool as well. Now, personally, I do like to do four to five duplicates, but you can do whatever you guys would like. However, once you guys have your duplicates, take your top text layer, hold shift, select your bottom text layer, and this will end up selecting all the other layers that you made in between the two selections. Now, all you guys have to do is press control E to merge all the layers together. And if you would like to, you can also make these a smart object as well. And honestly, just to add in, you don't even have to have it be the same word for the record. However, now you want to hop into filter and choose liquify. Here you want to have the twirl option selected, which is the fourth option of the table. Now that you guys are going to go to the top right and make sure you adjust your size of the brush to make sure it matches the size of the duplicates that you do have. Basically making sure that your brush fills the space as well. Now all you guys have to do is click in the middle of your text and hold. And of course the longer that you guys hold, the more it twists. It's super simple and you can press OK and now hop out of the liquify selection. And if you want to, you can even make a new layer, clipping mask the layer to the new liquify text, then choose a color and then paint a line or a few letters in the liquify text. It's honestly a super fun effect to be aware of because of the fun applications it can have in a project. Next is a super simple effect to apply some really easy motion to your text. First, you guys want to start off with your text and your font of choice. Now, on a new layer and not your text layer, otherwise it'll end up being like grayed out and stuff like that, so just on a new layer, hop into filter and choose vanishing point. When the table shows up, you guys want to use the plane tool located right below the arrow icon. Now, with this tool, you can do whatever shape you would like to start. But for me, I'm going to choose a square. And no, it does not have to be perfect, but I do say if you do mess up, Control Z does not work. You have to use backspace on your keyboard. However, once you guys finish creating your square with the same exact plane tool, you can now select the right middle anchor and drag it out. 
You basically want to drag it out just enough to fit whatever text you'd like to place inside of it. But you can press OK to exit because the grid will actually save. Now, before we hop back into the perspective grid, you want to hold control on your keyboard and select the thumbnail of the text layer that you guys made before. This will give you guys a marquee selection. Press control C to end up copying the selection and press control D to deselect once you guys have copied it. But now you guys can jump back into the vanishing point tool under filter again and on a new layer. Don't forget, by the way. And once it opens up, you can press control V to paste your text inside. And now you can also drag it towards the box that you made as well. It will end up basically taking the shape that you guys made and apply the perspective that you guys gave it as well. You can make some really cool heading text or even apply a shadow to the corner at which it switches perspectives for a really super simple text effect. It's honestly super simple and very versatile, so hopefully you guys can use it in some future projects. All right guys, so last up is actually something pretty cool for beginners to actually explore some options with. Now you wanna start off with whatever text or font you would like. Now for this effect, you will need some really cool awesome pattern fills in which you can Google free hatch patterns for Photoshop to find some really cool ones. Or if you guys wanna pick up my $4 pattern pack that's coming out very, very soon and also getting a really fat update, it was gonna be a little bit more of a price you guys will get for free by the way in the email, selfie.com, sessashq, also link in the description, casual plug. However, I will end up throwing the one I'm gonna be using in this video in the description for you guys as well so you don't have to worry about that too much. Now on our new layer, press Control A on your keyboard to highlight the entire canvas. Here you guys want to right click on the empty space with the selection active with the rectangle marquee tool, which is M on your keyboard, and choose the option fill. Under contents, you want to choose the option pattern. Here's where you guys will find an option to choose a pattern and select one of the hatch patterns that you guys do have, or the one that I gave you guys. And if you guys are using the one that I gave you guys, under the same drop down, choose the cog wheel and select import patterns. And that'll basically upload the patterns that I gave you. And of course, once you guys choose your pattern, you want to press OK and the entire canvas should be filled. This is where I like to go into filter, liquify, if you guys want to make the inside more abstract. Using the same exact forward wrap tool from before, you want to click around until you find some really cool lines and patterns that you like. Once you guys are done, of course, exit. Now all you guys have to do is hold control and set the thumbnail of your text layer once again for the marquee tool selection. And you can also click the little eyeball on your text layer to hide that as well. However, with the rectangle marquee tool, which is M on your keyboard, by the way, you can select the inside of your text selection and move it around to the part of a line pattern that you like. Afterwards, you guys wanna select your pattern layer and right click and choose layer via copy. Hide the pattern layer and there you guys go. You applied a really fun little pattern to your text, which you can also create a new clip mask layer to it as well. Choose a color and color parts of the text to make it stand out. It's super fun and honestly really, really cool looking. And of course, depending on the hatch patterns that you guys end up finding and all the liquify kind of settings or whatever other settings you wanna to try to give it to under filter, it's a really fun effect that can go a long way. All right, guys, that is the end of the video here today. So, of course, I want to say thank you guys so very much. And, of course, if you guys do support the series, let me know. Like, basically, let me know with like, like, you know, a little, little like or a little comment or something like that. But also, if you have any cool tech effects you guys want me to explore and show you guys, be sure to tweet me at SessoHQ. And uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys do enjoy. And, of course, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And that's that's it. I love you guys. SessoHQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, and enjoy your weekend.